Hello ladies and gentlemen, Moonalusion here! Today we're going to be doing something very different. The first thing is... Hey Moon, um, could you take away the book? And, and the Doom Mask? And the, the graphic? How did that even get there? Oh my gosh. And the Persona Mask. It's been... Ta-da! My real face! Wow! Now that that is out of the way, and uh, you may be wondering why. Well, we recently reached 800 subscribers, and I wanted to do something special for it by introducing my face. Well, now that you guys are probably thoroughly disappointed in my face reveal, let's move on to what we are all actually here for. The imposter build. Also, stick till the end if you want to see my 100% guaranteed win rate for imposter you don't want to miss this don't you <laughs> let's move on to the lore of the imposters not much lore has been discovered on uh the imposters of among us or well maybe there is but i couldn't be fucked to do any research at all uh but one thing is certain about them they can blend in with ordinary folk and have an insatiable bloodlust so what are my qualifications to make this build well <laughs> I actually happen to be the best imposter that Among Us has ever seen, and I don't- Do you get the joke, guys? Now, you may be wondering, how powerful would this build have to be in order to one-shot those crewmates? Well, to that I say, not actually that strong, at all. Normal city guards in D&D have like 11 HP, so do you really think that crewmates are going to have any more than four? They're just scientists. What does this build have to include? Easy. We need to simulate looking like a crewmate while actually being a terrifying alien from space. We need to show that the imposter can easily use a dagger, their fists, their gun, and their horrible tongue spear thing. We need access to sabotaging, and we also need to be able to see in magical darkness. So. Should this be easy to pull off? Well, maybe not for you guys, but me and absolute Chad. Stop right there, criminal scum! For the race, Githyanki is basically one of the only alien races in D&D, or at least the most stereotypical example. So anyway, you can make these Githyanki as ugly as you want, because you're not supposed to know what the imposter actually looks like. So... This is what you get from Githyanki. So first, your ability score increase. Uh, you get a plus two to strength and a plus one to intelligence. Trust me, we do not need intelligence to pull off some good imposter wins. Intelligence is for the crewmates to figure out. <laughs> and we also get Descendant Mastery. So we make sure to choose Performance here because that's what you have to put on for people to believe your tomfoolery. You also get Kithyanki Psionics. You get an invisible mage hand that's really useful for sabotaging stuff. You get uh, the spell Jump at third level and Misty Step at fifth level. Pretty fucking cool. I really like Kithyanki Race. Misty Step also really helps us uh, pull off those really, really good uh, vents, if you would like to represent it that way. For the ability scores, we have a 14 in Strength, 13 in Dexterity for multiclassing, 9 in Constitution, the imposter dies really easily in space, but if you're gonna actually play this build, nine constitution is not really recommended. Uh, so I would dump some other stats that we may not need. Intelligence is an eight, and wisdom is a 13 for multiclassing, and we have a 15 in charisma to pull off those deceptions. All right, so now we go on to our starting class. Our starting class is Warlock, yay! We are specifically the great old one warlock. Why that patron? Well, the game is a great old one because it came out two years ago. But also, it gives us some really useful features uh, and the extended spells are really, really nice. I will go over all the spell choices and spells that we actually get uh, at the end of the video. And we get Awakened Mind. So. You can telepathically communicate with a creature within 30 feet of you. Great for sneakily snagging a double kill like at the perfect moment. I think this is really, really great, especially since two imposters in the same room with two other people automatically know to double kill. So this really, really helps accentuate that. For the proficiencies, 
Grab Intimidation because your presence on that imposter victory screen is earth shatteringly terrifying. And Investigation. The best way to lie about not being the imposter is to pretend you are investigating the crime. What you can also do is get a background, any background or a custom background, to get Deception and Persuasion right now. I'm going to pick those later on in the video so that you see that I do. But the background is up for you guys. I want all of my builds to be basically the starting point for you guys to build upon. So if you have any changes you would like to make or any useful um, things that might make this build better, that's on you. This is my interpretation of my build. So you go ahead and make your build, which it's yours. You should change it however you want to. All right. So now we're going to move on to the second level of Warlock. You get Warlock Invocations. Super important for lads like us. Uh, choose Devil Sight because it gives you dark vision, where you can see clearly in dark light and magical darkness. And this is probably useful in maybe the case of a sabotage? Maybe? And then also we get Mask of Many Faces to be able to cast the Disguise Self spell at will. AKA, you can disguise yourself as a crewmate in an unlimited amount of times. Big brain. Now we're multi-classing in a monk. Nothing too important happens other than being able to uh, more easily snap someone's neck, which is one of the things that we needed to accomplish. And you're going to want to keep leveling monk for six levels. Six levels. Choosing Way of the Shadow along the way. What you get at that illustrious sixth level is uh, of Shadow Monk is Shadow Step, which allows you to teleport from one place of dim light to another place of dim light as our bonus action giving you plenty of time to simulate a vent kill with a spicy advantage on the attack you just committed. But this is only on melee attacks that get advantage. All right, and also for our monk ASI, we're gonna bump up charisma by two points. At the level three as well, you get shadow arch, which is a really good way to cast darkness uh, to somewhat simulate turning off the lights at this point. And um, now because you have the means to vent and look like a crewmate, we want to gain access to sabotaging abilities by multiclassing into Bard. You're going to want to multiclass into Bard and take 9 levels into the class. Here are the features that you would receive. Proficiencies. You're going to want Drum to simulate banging on your desk after you get wrongfully accused for the murder you didn't actually commit, but they still somehow guess that you were the imposter. Alright. <laughs> I know no one's died yet, but I'm already a little sus of Josh. <laughs> and then you also get Persuasion Skill. Uh, you can also get this when choosing a background, just so we're clear. Now we get our Expertise. So put Expertise in Deception and Persuasion. Very important because your whole existence is persuading people and deceiving people. Alright, for the Bard College, you're going to want to choose College of Whispers for a lot of reasons, but they're going to be explained a little bit later. Plus it sounds pretty cool, right? So Psychic Blades, we get extra damage for our melee weapon at the cost of a Bardic Inspiration die. Uh, that's pretty cash money and pairs nicely with that vent now, doesn't it? And now Words of Terror, you can basically induce terror into someone specifically when you say something to them. Like when you blame a crewmate for killing someone, the other crewmate semi buy it, then you they skip vote. Then you kill someone in front of all of them while the lights are off, then blame that crewmate again. Then that person gets ejected, essentially giving you a double kill while giving crewmates yellow underwear. Sort of like that. Very specific example. Alright, Grayson just killed Josh and then self-reported. Thank you. It was 100% Andy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Sorry, For our first ASI, we're going to go ahead and get the actor feat. It bumps up charisma by one, and also gives you some nice features that help that help you in deceiving crewmates. We get Mantle of Whispers. It, it is one of the coolest abilities, and I like to think that it simulates self-reporting in a way. Uh, so basically, you kill a human, uh, take on their appearance, and then. Uh, you also get some of their memories, so you can more easily come up with a lie and a more safe alibi when self-reporting. Alright, for the other ASI we're getting, bump up Charisma by 2 points. Now we should have uh, an 18 in Charisma. 
And now that we are almost complete with this level, let's choose our last multi-class rogue for the last three levels. Proficiency, I went with deception, but again, you can this earlier on by choosing a background. Expertise, now this should be either intimidation or performance for obvious reasons and investigation so that it really seems like you are on the case. For our roguish archetype, choose assassin. You should really know how this whole class works by now because I've done it like five times on this channel, uh, but I will explain it anyway for those at home. You, know. <clears throat> you not in combat. You see enemy, you sneak, surprise enemy, get critical. Yes? All right. Warlock spells. Now we're going to learn what spells we actually need to simulate everything. So we're going to get Eldritch Blast to simulate gun. Pretty straightforward. Arms of Hadar. You could flavor this to look like that disgusting tongue spear thing. Cause fear, because it makes sense. Fuck. Expedious Retreat. Nothing says GTFO like someone walking towards the body you just killed. Now for Bard spells, there's a lot more here, so bear with me. Alright. <clears throat> so first you want to get the Friend's Cantrip, because you can marinate someone to believe you're innocent, which basically gives you advantage on your Charisma checks, but after you win, they will be so fucking mad at you. Vicious Mockery. This is what you do after winning, obviously. Blindness and deafness. Very important to get this because you can simulate the lights being turned off and have it affect almost all the creatures that you want, depending on the spell slot expended. Phantasmal Force. Basically can be used to simulate every other sabotage, honestly. This spell is fucking incredible and can basically do almost anything you can imagine. Suggestion. Now, you can't suggest someone hurt an ally or hurt themselves, but... I believe you can suggest that they can no longer trust an ally. Saying, basically you suggest that they shouldn't trust a certain ally. If I'm right, this should work depending on what table you're at. I could be wrong. Alright, hypnotic pattern. Alright, basically simulates the taskbar going up at the exact same time that you are faking a task so it can charm everyone into thinking that you're innocent. Alright, confusion. Pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Dimension Door, just another cool teleport slash event. Locate Creature, could basically represent camera or logs to locate a player or target that you plan to kill. Dominate Person, basically when you hold an actual player hostage in real life and force them to do practically anything in the game. Uh, totally realistic, right? Oh, I, I, I mean, uh, you dominate a person and tell them to basically throw someone off or vent themselves or say something very stupid all right uh i don't know how to say this but geese yes yes you compel your targets to come to a disclosed location when the round starts just to kill them there i think that's a good use of the spell and modify memory basically just fucking gaslighting someone uh but too perfective all right now background i didn't choose a background like i said in the beginning it's up to you guys what background you choose for your own character all right i'm not going to go over damage numbers either uh because this is a very niche build it's about a, a funny video game uh, and also you're basically targeting like at most four hp people uh but if you must know the average damage for most of your abilities is about 30 which is the usual uh average for level 20 characters so just keep that in mind per turn you can also increase that by extra damage by doing the assassinate feature doing psychic blades yada yada, yada. all right and as promised my patented 100 percent win rate strategy for the imposter all right so step one get a party of at least five people to play the game or four i don't know step two Chat it up in the Discord, point to my server in the description, and send a pop-in video in the chat. Hop on the spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. Step three. Once everyone begins watching the super fucking awesome video, you just start a game and hope for imposter. You're going to want to make sure that kill cooldowns are low, 
Back up. If you're a crewmate, give yourself a ton of meetings and just start killing people at random. Step four. Then as they are laughing at how hilarious the video is and how, you know, handsome the man sounds, you know, uh, just murder them all. Enjoy! <laughs> Dude, this video is so fucking funny, honestly. Dude, oh, oh. And this is honestly the best video ever. <laughs> this video is awesome, dude. I'm gonna dude, show this to dude. all my friends at school. It is uh, my life. 100% win rate strategy. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching this video. It took about two months to actually put together, as you saw in the video, because I have been swamped with schoolwork and whatnot, and. I uh, just really appreciate you guys' patience, and I am, however, done with the semester of school, so, you know, that's that's cool. Uh, as you could see right now, I'm going through all the features and spells that used in this video, so go ahead and, you know, pause if you need to during this part. And I do want to say that the link to this build is in the description below, as well as uh, playlists for other videos on my channel. I really want you guys to check that out. I put a lot of work into those as well. I did put a lot of work into this one. But yeah, anyways, uh, thank you so much. If you want to join my Discord, it's also in the link in my description as well. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff on there, like a lot more events and whatnot. You can actually join some D&D games on there too. And a big, big announcement. I actually have a Patreon page that is open right now. That is going to be in the link of every single video from now on. And I want to shout out the tiers and what you get as a benefit for the last tier so uh basically for the tiers you got the crescent moon tier which gives you some more access to my discord server the quarter moon tier which has everything from the previous tier but higher priority and opinions when participating in polls for D, &D builds and whatnot uh which is really nice full moon tier is basically your name is going to be shout out and end at the end of every single one of my videos um and you will have behind the scene access basically see my scripts and my early edits of my videos and early access to stuff like streams and whatnot in the future and then my illusion tier which is everything in every previous tier but you also ha like get to make me make you a build uh, again you gotta read the description of it but yeah you can have your own build featured on my channel anything you want uh, i do have the ability to refuse your idea if it is really offensive for whatever reason but it should be no problem and i do have one patron that i can actually uh shout out all right so patron who is an illusion tier patron is artemis albosa thank you so much for being a patron and being my first ever patron uh it really means a lot to me thank you so much you're going to be shout out in the end of every single one of my videos and your video is coming soon Trust me. I'm out of college now, so I, I got time. All right, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.